love when you're growing up or doing what you just saw can be a very selfish thing, you know? You want to feel good, you want to have, uh, want to be loved to feel good. Uh, when you have kids, of course, that, that all changes, you know? My greatest wish for all of us is that rather than run from the hard times, that we find a way to feel our way through them own the feelings, not run from them. If we're being responsive to the infant's curriculum, what we're doing is we are creating infant toddler care settings, the daily experiences, and orchestrating those daily experiences. How to peacefully and compassionately prepare to meet a newborn baby. I'm going to share with you a few principles that perhaps can help you in welcoming your baby with loving respect. We are raising the future and our presence, our love and joy will have a lasting effect in our children's development. This, I believe, will provide us with a more loving and more respectful world. When we are unconscious ourselves, holding a baby, undressing that child, touching her skin, forcing food into her, forcing ourselves on her, taking away her freedom, we become the perpetrator, violating her body and soul. This is, after all, how we were likely raised. My Pickler children know immediately when they are being violated. There is no confusion, and thus they know how not to violate another. I want to show you a few slides I put together, a little bit of just what our home looked like and how we approached the Pickler and Rye ideas. I wanted to share with you a key piece of my work as an infant and toddler specialist that I've been focusing on for the last 10 to 15 years. This is working together with infant and toddler teams and creating collective unity um, and how to build respectful relationships. How do we see babies? Do we give them the due respect that we would give other human companions? Or do we assume that they are less aware and less conscious? We have more awesome stuff and we are less happy than ever before. How is it that the field of science and technology have developed explosively in the last century while rates of depression and suicide are on the rise. Babies are not gonna tell you like a four-year-old or a 16 or 17-year-old what they want in the language that you understand. You have to look at the language of the baby and every baby has his or her own language. You have to learn that language, that communication and slow them down and love is the, the universal language that caregivers, mothers, fathers, and Pickler advo advocate for. Love and understand what the child, the human, is telling you. Sometimes loss happens, and sometimes trauma happens. But if they have left home with a knowledge that they're of their own heart, of their own inner selves, then they're gonna have the resources to be able to find themselves at home wherever they are. You are a player, whether you recognize that fully or not. Akár családban, akár csoportban nevelkedik a kisgyerek, ha érzelmileg biztonságban érzi magát, ha bizalmas jó viszony köti a felnőthöz, a szabad mozgás, amit Emi Pikler fedezett fel, nagy előny. Ugyanis egy biológiailag természettől adott lehetőségről van szó. Children idea count. Children words count for me. And that's how I am working with them and building relationships. It's so important to be thinking about our soul these days and how my soul needs your soul needs the souls of we need to connect as people who care about young children. In this talk, I'll talk about how mental models keep systems stuck. I'll talk about trauma in systems that are stuck in the role of mental models. We treat babies and children as full human beings, 
What a novel idea. Pickler approach affects caregivers. I think that Pickler approach has a therapeutic influence for the caregivers. It reduces an anxiety, uh, positively changes caregivers' representations about caregiving roles, skills, and meanings. We're going to talk about attachment theory and the neurobiology of care systems. Care systems are very important in, in human relationships and children's feelings are the most important uh, and you always have to address them. Also in families and wherever you, you are with children, daycare center or in kindergarten, it's very important that they uh, are very often outside and, and have fresh air yeah? and play outside and have the possibilities to play outside. It is important too that he can learn to learn from all activity, to be responsible for what I am doing and what will be the consequence and have a trust in himself, I can. The little behind comes first, and then this hand comes free and goes immediately here, and you are allowed to breathe. My parents and educators are actually different from the rest of the world. We also want to give our children the best of our children. Pickler education lets us see the best of us. There's a phrase that I uh, borrowed from my uh, director of the Infant Parent Mental Health Program, Dr. Christy Brandt, uh, that's safe, protected, loved, and respected. And I think that when children feel that, when they know that they're safe, protected, loved, and respected, learning is possible. <laughs>